Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you doing? Great. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> Have you ever experienced something that you thought was unfair? Most likely, every single one of us have had those exact thoughts at one point of our lives. Today, I want to talk about something that I've seen that I believe is unfair. As you may know, I'm pretty big on sports, and it is one of my passions. I'm more than willing to admit, however, that the sports that I watch aren't without its flaws. Male athletes are getting paid absurd amounts of money play every day for their teams. That would be fine, but have you looked at what women are making in their sports leagues? Professional female athletes are only making a fraction of what professional male athletes are making. According to my survey, 80% of you believe that women should be paid the same as men, while 20% of you either disagree or are not sure. I really hate that this is a truth, and if you don't already believe so, I want to persuade you hate this reality as well. Maybe someday we can fix this injustice. Today I'll be talking about the numerical difference in salary between men and women, reasonings behind why women's sports aren't as popular, <coughs> and what we can do to help see a future for equal opportunity for men and women. As I mentioned before, women are making only a fraction of what men are making in sports. According to my survey, 90% of you don't know what the average salary women are making in sports. The salary does depend on what uh, sport they do play. According to sportsmanagement.com, women's salaries in basketball averages at $72,000, with a max salary of $107,000. In golf, they make an average of $162,000. In tennis, $345,000. In soccer, they can make a max of 30000 and a minimum of 6000 According to my survey, I asked how you how much more you thought males were making than females. And your combined average number is about 76% more. According to the same article from sportsmanagement.com, men are making 98.4% more than women in basketball, 83.4% more in golf, and tennis is a special occasion where men, women are actually making more men by 54%. And men make 85.6% more in soccer, even though women have objectively played better than the men in the World Cup. <laughs> the problem doesn't just lie in the professional world of sports. Women in college also have to deal with the inequality in budget differences for their sports programs. According to an article on the OdysseyOnline.com, written by Sam Garavi on June 29, 2015, males, are make, males receive 55% of sports scholarship funds, with women receiving 45%. That doesn't seem too bad, except when you look at the budget differences between the two. The coaching staff for men's college teams receive an average salary of $1.8 million, while women's is only $850,000. This is more unfortunate evidence of unfair inequality that women have in sports. Now that we discussed the differences in salaries between men and women, we can talk about the reasons why women aren't getting the same fat salary. According to my survey, the reasons you put down for the inequality that they're facing was because males gained more ad, more ad revenue than for, for the males than females and because of sexism. One of the bigger reasons women are not making pay as much is definitely due to the lack of viewers and not as much ad revenue to support their paychecks. Simply put, male sports are just more popular. But why, why is it that way? According to an article on thenation.com by Amanda Ottaway on July 20th, 2016, women's sports just aren't getting enough media coverage. If sports networks are just not going to broadcast any female sports on a regular occasion, it's going to be difficult for women to get the coverage and the popularity. While it's true that the lack of popularity can be attributed to the problem, I think sexism is the biggest obstacle female athletes have to face when it comes to getting anywhere closer to equal pay. According to the odysseyonline.com, Girls are just not 
are just as interested in sports as boys, despite the stereotype. The reason for girls dropping out of sports is because of lack of support from peers, thanks to the corrupted society that we live in. Adding on to that, an even more disgust disgusting fact about male and female athletes is the sponsorships that they commonly get. Men are get asked more frequently to be featured on advertisements, and women are asked when they are asked to be on the advertisement, it's on for Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. According to some quotes in the same article by Amanda Ottaway on thenation.com, there have been sexist comments from sports reporters about female athletes that include, it is a lady's business to look beautiful and there are hardly any sports in which she seems able to do so. By a sports writer, Paul Gall Gallin in 1936, that quote is outdated but there have been recent ones that prove, still prove a case of sexism. One quote reads, well, the vast majority of WNBA players lack crossover sex appeal. The baggy uniforms don't help. By Bill Simmons, uh, HBO Sports Personality 2006. And another, women's sports in general is not worth watching. By Sports Illustrated con contributor Andy Bennett via Twitter in 2015. These were some of the reasonings behind female uh, athletes' lack of pay that I would call despicable and unfair. Mm -hmm. Now that we talked about the difference in salary between men and women and reasons why women don't find as much popularity, we can talk about how to head in the right direction of equal pay in sports. It seems like a difficult task for society to accomplish, especially considering the wage gaps I mentioned in my first point. What can we do? According to an article by the American Bar Association by Tamika Hampton, we can help by simply attending women's sports events. It's an obvious answer, but a necessary one for helping women to uh, head towards sports equality. It's also important to support the sponsors that are promoting the athletes to up the chance of newer sponsors coming in for women as a result of more popularity. Another simple answer, but even the tiniest attempt to support can help the cause. Encouragement of female athletes will, will help as well, especially if it involves younger girls that are struggling against sexism in sports. According to the Odyssey Op Online.com, one way to support female athletes is by urging sports networks to broadcast more female sporting events. It's no wonder female athletes have so much difficulty finding popularity if they're not on television that often. So if we're able to encourage more broadcasts, the chance of popularity increases. Another way to help t is to coach and become positive role mo models for younger girls. The drought rate for girls in sports is high mostly because of the stereotypes that they face from society. To have an adult to coach and encourage their involvement in sports will help later lower the dropout. Lowering the dropout could then lead to more, to more talent in female sporting skill. There are many other things that we could do to help, but the ones I discussed I found were most helpful. In conclusion, we talked about the difference in salary between men and women the reasonings behind why they're not as popular and what we can do to help uh, women towards equal pay. I hope that I have convinced anyone who thought that the lower pay for women was justified, uh, that there were some, some injustices, and I hope, that I, help, I hope that I help those who agree with me find ways to support these women. Thanks.